you. <laughs> so it's another day today and I'm just ignoring that guy. Anyway, it's another day today. I am sharing with you what I did. I am having lunch with hubby. He came to the city and I've worked for the most part of the day. I'm done with my assignments. So I'm gonna meet up with him at one of my favorite restaurants, Hakasan. You've seen me there many times and today is no exception. So I will bring you guys along with me to the extent I can and yeah. The light is amazing on your face, babe. Oh, I love that smile. Okay. Thank you. 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 So I am in Brooklyn. I just left court and I had a very eventful day today and um, I just figured I'll start a vlog today here because I swear to God my lawyer vlogs are the most requested vlogs. My lawyer vlogs and my luxury vlogs. It's like you guys want to see me go to work and then you guys want to see me buy stuff. Um, but I still do a lot in between so I figured I will just come here and talk to you a little bit about the judicial process, how it works and um, also let you know that with regard to content centering my life as an attorney just certain things I can't show so I once had someone come and saying she didn't see any part of my office blah 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 and even though I responded to that comment I just felt like it would be best to express that here out of respect for the firm that I work in out of respect for our clients out of respect for the partners I will never vlog in my office you're never gonna see my office as part of a lawyer vlog if at all you see my office it may be like bits and pieces here and there I think this is better maybe bits and pieces here and there but you're never really gonna see like my full office it's just not um, right as part of vlogging that's not what they signed up for that's not what i signed up for anyway as far as showing you guys that part but i will show you the courthouse i will show you maybe the conference room in my last vlog i showed you the attorney's lounge so there are things that i can show you here and there but i may not always be able to show you that but anyway i just wanted to come here and say that now i'm heading back to work because i have a deposition the deposition is in my office so i'm going to show you the conference room so at least you can see that and um, yeah i need to go ahead and prepare for that and if you don't know what a deposition is it's just a question and answer session basically it's also called an ebt an examination before trial where we get all the information we need about you know you and regarding to your claim and also in the defense of your claim so it is in front of a court reporter and the court reporter takes down all your responses if you need an interpreter we get one for you and it's something that's done to both parties so defendants depose plaintiffs and plaintiffs depose a defendant or a witness from the defendant's um, company you can also depose a third party witness someone who's not necessarily named in the complaint but may be in possession of certain knowledge or information regarding the um, lawsuit so that's that I am going to go back to my office now it's sunny cold where like it's really cold but it's sunny and I can deal with that I can deal with that but I'm ready for spring though I'm like really tired of this so yeah I showed you just a little bit of the courthouse and I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit and now I'm going back to work I'll show you a little bit of my conference room and then I will pick up this vlog another day another time we'll see want to see something cool Brooklyn Law School and the courthouse and then over there you really can't see the further at the back of the federal courthouse so federal courthouse behind state courthouse here civil courthouse somewhere all the way over there and Brooklyn Law School I did not go to Brooklyn Law School I do know a lot of friends who went to Brooklyn Law School it's a very good law school but literally it's like two steps away from the courthouse which is insane the law school that I went to, um, New York Law School, is really close to the courthouse, but like not this close. But yeah, just a little bit of uh, information. So I'm at a deposition this morning and I am in my office, I'm in the conference room. 
and I am just showing you guys what it looks like. This is a table and there's the medical records there. Those are the files we're going to be questioning on. I have my files here and we are about to get started. So I figured I'll come in here and show you guys what I'm looking like today. I'm wearing a blue Katharina Malandrino dress um, with tights because it's still cold outside and my never fall. Yep. got in a car today and I was like I'm not vlogging I'm not a car vlogger this is not a car show but then I remembered that I am currently shooting a video which consists of what I did all week so I have to continue vlogging so you guys are just gonna have to deal with me in the car today Whew. no makeup Saturdays you know how it is but hubby and I are going out tonight we have date night so I am gonna fix this monstrosity that's called my nails I also just wanted to say that ever since I recovered from the flu, I've been over layering. Does that make sense? So the other day it was like 48 degrees and I just found myself wearing like four layers. Like I'm terrified of being cold or getting sick because of the cold and now it's sunny out. Why am I wearing my blanket coat, a sweater and like an inner shirt in the sweater? It's insane. I don't know why, but I really, your girl does not want to be cold, yo. She does not want to be sick. She's not all about that sick life at all. I like being healthy. I like being strong and, you know, productive. And yeah, whoever thought overlayering will be a problem. Insane. <music> Hi guys, I'm done with my nails. Can you check them out? They're so gorgeous. So pretty. These are, I think the color is bubblegum pink. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But anyway, we are heading out to dinner pretty soon. But, well not pretty soon, in the next three hours I guess. And I'm quite hungry. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a smoothie. Because one, I really haven't eaten all day. I've just been snacking here and there. And um, there's no time like the present. So, so what I have here is spinach, strawberries, pineapple, and mango. So I'm just going to put some almond milk in here. I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm holding the camera, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and then blend it all together. I probably would like to add a little more spinach, but it's okay. And yeah, I just really wanted to have a smoothie that's going to be rich in vitamins, of course, but also give me energy and is quite filling without feeling bloated or feeling like I had an entire meal before I had dinner. Oh, here's my, my mugs. My lovely Tiffany mug that I'm obsessed with. The hubby got this for me um, over Christmas. I really love it. And it's just a couple of other mugs, but I just felt like I should share that because it was right there and it was like waving at me and I have to say hi. It has the map of Manhattan, which is pretty dope, right? It has Second Avenue, Third, Lexington Park, and then it has the picture of, you know, Tiffany and Co. right there at the flagship store. But anyway, enough about that. I'll go ahead and blend this and have my smoothie. So I just wanted to come here and share with you guys a product I've been using for my dry skin. If you've watched my videos, I've complained many times, especially about the winter, how my skin gets dry and I use different products. I mean, I like my good, nice, expensive lotions, but they don't always have the correct amount of you know ingredients that will help my skin to remain moisturized all the time and I've searched high and low for a product that will not only retain moisture in my skin but it help me feel fresh and make my hands feel less dry and you know just something I can use for the longest and also something that has as many natural products as possible so I have come across this white gardenia lotion from Kino it's a Hawaiian skincare that you know, uses 100% toxic free materials. They are vegan, cruelty free, all natural, gluten free, paraben free, and they use sustainable palm oil as well. And um, I also think it has some CBD oil in here. Yes, it definitely does. And it's a blend of coconut and CBD oil which has been really helping my skin to get moisturized and I really like the fact that it's small, it's compact, I can throw it in my Neverfull which I always you know, seem to use every day nowadays and just take it with me. I don't have to worry about whether or not it's big or whether or not it's actually too bulky. Like some of my big lotions that I like, you know, other brands as you guys probably know the brands I'm talking about from drugstores have 
huge huge bottles and I can't carry them with me but this is very small it's compact and you know I mean it's an eight ounce bottle so I can take it on the plane with me but I can also put it in my bag my work bag leave it on my desk at work and yeah and the thing is that even when I use the bathroom and I'm done I don't feel like my skin is very dry instead I actually feel like I'm still able to feel some of the moisture in the product that I've used before so I'm very excited that I've been able to find this out. I will put a link below to the brand so you can check them out if you do have dry skin and you're you know, trying to find a product that will help you not only retain moisture but help your skin glow and just make you feel overall 100% great about how your skin is. Yeah so I'll go ahead and leave a link below to the product so you can check it out if you do have dry skin and you're trying to find a product that will really help you um, retain moisture and just overall have a good outlook for your skin that's made up of great ingredients you know gluten free paraben free and toxic free ingredients as well so I just thought I'll come here and share with you guys because you know I keep talking about how my skin is dry and how much I hate that in the winter and I'm glad to find an all-natural product that has been really working for me good morning guys this is like the most unorganized vlog ever because i'm really just showing you bits and pieces of my life that i feel like i never really show you guys but anyway this is what i have for breakfast most of the times i get it most of the times i get it from pret a manger and it's the oatmeal and um i get brown sugar i usually only have like one spoon of it and then i get the caramelized granolas and some sliced almonds and raisins and I mix all of that in this goodness here and it tastes so good. It's so healthy and it also is very filling. So it helps me out before I go to court. You know, there's sometimes I have the luxury <laughs> of coming to work a couple of minutes before I go to court. Most times I don't. So when I do, I try to grab a manger and I just keep, you know, I have that for breakfast. Oh, by the way, these are the flowers that I got from Hubby River Valentine's Day. It's so nice, right? still holding up. It's been almost a week now. I love white ones. They're my favorite. Yeah, so basically this is my little breakfast. And then lunch is usually from Dagan, which is like really a really nice plate. You serve farm to table and basically plant-based. I usually get a side of kale, a side of broccoli, or Brussels sprouts with brown rice and chicken or salad. Simple, easy, breezy, healthy. I figured I'll show you what I eat in the afternoons because I showed you my breakfast this morning, which was oatmeal. And I mentioned a place called Dig In, which I think, you know, their food is amazing. And I have brown rice in here. You can see brown rice, charred chicken, Brussels sprouts, which are amazing, and kale. I also have avocado and some lemon just for the extra zing. It's really healthy, it's really tasty, it's really filling, and it's not too pricey, but it's also not cheap. So if you eat this every day, you definitely feel the effect on your wallet. But I'm always up and about, and I don't have the luxury to sit in my office and like bring lunch and eat lunch in my office. I always just grab lunch and go and work through my lunch break. So this is what I get. It's very, obviously, as you can see, good fat, great vegetables, brown rice, grilled chicken, so it's very clean. I love it, I love it, it's also very tasty, like yummy. This is the only other place that does Brussels sprouts better, not better, but just like I do my Brussels sprouts. <laughs> okay, I also keep fruits, you know, around my desk or in the office, especially when I know that I'm working long hours, so I have a plum here. I have a nice little orange. I actually really like these oranges because I don't know where hubby got them from, but they are really tasty. They don't have like the sharp citrusy taste that a lot of oranges have. Um, yeah, I really like them. And then, you know, just a regular old banana. I may not eat all of them today, but I do know that the plums getting a little soft, so I will go ahead and, you know, snack on these today because I need an extra kick before it's time for me to go home. That way I'm not like starving on the train. And I'm trying to cut down on my caffeine intake, so just having fruits and stuff to give me the natural sugar, you know, fructose, that will help me get the second wind of my day and then just keep me going. So, yeah, always keep this, you know, always keep these around. 
So I'm at the Mac store, guys. You wouldn't believe what happened to me, but I was hanging out with a buddy of mine from law school between court appearances. I was getting coffee, and he accidentally spilled some coffee on my MacBook, which is really terrible. But now I need to get a new, you know, MacBook and get it replaced. And it's just shitty because I've had this computer for six, five years. I didn't have any problem with it, and just a couple of drops of coffee. Now I need to get a brand new computer just because damage is terrible and it was coffee blah 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 so I'm probably gonna be behind in my, my uploading schedule guys just bear with me for a little it's gonna take me a while but I will try my best to um, follow through to the best that I can so I'm just waiting here to get an official report and then I will figure out what my next steps are gonna be it's crazy and I'm thankful this is why you should always have an emergency fund for things like this to happen because you never know when stuff like this can happen and I work on my laptop all the time not just YouTube but I spend a significant amount of time working at home or from my um, on the train or something you know between court appearances while I'm in court you guys see my vlogs always working and now I just like I can't imagine not having one to use yeah so I will go ahead and get a new one probably because it's gonna cost like $300 more to get a new one than it will cost to replace it and I've had this computer for five years and with a new one I can get like Apple care it's just yeah so I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that So this is it, new MacBook Pro, I wasn't expecting it, not particularly excited about it just because of the circumstances in which I had it. It's insane, it's just insane. Life lessons, never spill anything on your laptop, never let anything spill on your laptop and if you have an Apple product, have a backup fund for a computer because that can happen at any point in time. Listen, I've been using Apple's exclusively since 2007 and I'm not disappointed but I'm always surprised at how fragile they are when it comes to water damage. It's just like it's worse than a black girl with raindrops. It just, just does not go together. It does not go together. All right, I am going to head out to meet hubby now and I'll take it from there. Catch up with you guys later. Made from your fancy espresso machine. <laughs> a fancy espresso cup. No, baby, it's a teacup. I'm gonna put fancy ice cream in it. It's a and specialty it... teacup that we were gifted, honey. I'm gonna put fancy ice cream from the gas station in it and call it a fancy affogato. I no. Think. I think it's called an affogato. It looks good though. It better be as fancy. So I think I'm going to close out this vlog here and before I do it, I am just going to talk to, I guess he has something to say to you guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please support Annette. She's doing an awesome job. She loves working with you guys. Hit subscribe down here. Toodles. Bye.